Hello friends, welcome back to Jazz Creates. I'm Jasmine and this is episode three of my beginner's guide series. Today we are going to expand our residential zone. This is the very first residential zone that we've started and we're going to add a couple of new streets. We're also going to work on expanding our commercial and starting on a, our very first city park. In order to do a city park, you will need the Parks Life DLC, but even if you don't have it, that's okay. Um, you can still use vanilla parks and you can use decorations that come with the game to make your parks stand out. So without further ado, we will get started. In the last episode, we developed um, this second area uh, across the way and uh, we started our farming industry let me um, unpause the game we started our farming uh, industry and that's going pretty well it's it's very you know early stages so um, and then we we started this very small little neighborhood for um, for this farming area and I want to focus back on this main area over here and um, we really need to up our education and then um, we're we're in we have a lot of need for uh, more jobs for our citizens the next milestone is at 5500 I believe and um, I really want to hit that milestone in this episode this map does have a couple of little hills that we um, need to be mindful of uh, one one is right here and I think this would be a really good spot to have a city park so um, city parks you can um, create uh, if you have the uh, park life DLC um, and I personally think that this is probably probably the DLC that I use the most in the game um, having these having parks especially you know zoos um, it also comes with nature reserves and theme park and it really just adds another dimension to um, to the city that I, I really like so it this here um, does have you know a little bit of a hill um, we can either work with it or we can try to smooth it out um, since since we do have some roads here I think I will try to smooth it out but I don't have a lot of money to um, <clears throat> to work with so I don't want to spend you know a ton of time trying to uh, make this smooth. So I'm I'm gonna delete um, what I just did and Just gonna try to smooth this area down Just a little bit so you can see there's a little bit of a slope here and if we can make it to where um, It's on this level of this road here then that would be really good so what you're going to want to do is open up your terrain uh, menu and then um, you can go to this level terrain this is the second option it is expensive to use so you just kind of have to keep that in mind so then it will um, say to select a target position so we're going to say right here and you can see the terrain lines here so up at up at this level is kind of taller than in this area here we could also try to um uh try to keep like maybe this top uh portion i i don't know we'll we'll see because i really don't want to spend a lot of money on this i'm doing a low strength and um just starting with a kind of a low <clears throat> smaller size to start off with and you can see that the lines are moving yeah. and um, I just kind of want to smooth out this area I guess we can make it a little bit a little bit larger so you can see how the lines the lines are moving 
So that's our indicator that um, uh, how how the terrain is is moving. I guess you could say. So, um, I don't want to spend a ton of money on this, but <laughs> this might be okay. Let's let's delete this part here so we can we can smooth this down too. Just smoothing out it'll just a tad. And um, this doesn't really work. If you have already laid down your roads, um, it'll just terrain around your roads. So just have to keep that in mind uh, when working when working with that terrain tool. So this is good enough for now. And let me unpause the game. So then um, we're going to go to our park life menu and we're just going to paint um, a little area over here. This will be our city park area and we have these different gates. So this small, small park main gate, I'm going to use this because this is going to be a smaller park. Um, and we're going to place it right in the middle. So that brings up some options. And I'm just going to go, not going to go out too far. See, you can see how the terrain is sloping right there. So I'm going to stop that there. And we have a park plaza. Park Cafe, Park Info Booth, and Restrooms. That's all they give us to start off with. Let me just connect some more commercial right here so that we can have some electricity. And we will place down our park plaza. So all of the um, all the assets that come with uh, the uh, park life, or at least for the city park, they they are all um, square assets. So what I like to do is just kind of make a little a little path around everything, um, just to kind of square it off, I guess. And it does require electricity, so I'm going to put an info booth right here. Hopefully that should be enough. And then I'm going to put in a restroom right across the way there. Now on the, at the very end of the menu, we have some decorations that we can uh, that we can use and they're a little tedious to place down because um, you can't you kind of have to work with them to try to make them straight but like you can see here that it's bumping up against the path so I can't put it like directly on the path like near that bench it's just not going to let me do that so um, so what I, I like to do is oh I guess we need some water first And I'm just going to follow this road around here like that. And then I'm going to go back to my menu. So what I like to do is I, I like these park tiles. Um, these can also be tricky to place down, but you can use them. They can be placed closer to uh, your path, which I do like that. So I am going to make a, um, a little square on this side and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and from there we can we can also uh, place down some of these items here that are in the park uh, menu the leisure menu excuse me so this one I really like, the gazebo. 
So I'll just like kind of place this in the middle. And they also have some really nice benches. Yeah, this one, I really like this bench. <clears throat> and I'll just kind of place it. I'll try to get it, you know, as straight as I can, but sometimes it's just going to kind of look look crooked and you kind of have to <laughs> just kind of have to deal with it. So I'm just going to do that like so. And we also have some little food trucks that come with that come come with this menu. There's uh, this two food stalls and this little ice cream van. I'm gonna use this food stall, the, this red food stall, and I just I like to place it diagonally for some reason. I don't know. Um, that's just personal preference. And then this here is a hedge. We've got flower beds. Um, I'll, I think I'll just stick with the hedge for now. And I'm gonna try to kind of line this up. And it, you know, it may look a little crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> we have to gotta we gotta work with what we got here. So just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, see that one is a little bit off. <laughs> so you can see how it's like super tedious placing the placing this down. But I really like how it looks. I like how it's um, kind of squares everything off. So I don't think I'm going to be able to line this up, you know, perfectly. But I think on that corner, what I'm going to do is uh, put in um, like a tree or something. And that will kind of square it off. Okay. So now we can go and look at our trees and put in some pretty trees. I think this one will work. So just adding, you know, some little details and, ooh, I really like, I love this big tree here. There we go. So, you know, that's just a little something. And then uh, we can go back here. We can put in like a little fountain, kind of like the idea of the fountain in here. And it comes with some cute little benches. Place those. So, you know, it's like it won't let me place it there because it's it's running into <clears throat> a um, collision issue, but that's okay. We can place down three or four. And look how adorable this is. Like a seesaw, abandoned car. I don't know. Does anybody else use these abandoned cars like decoration? <laughs> decoration. They also have kiosks. I think that's super cute. Um, so I'm going to place the kiosk right, it won't let me place it in the middle, right there. Oh, did I, oh, I placed it. I didn't place it uh, the right way. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell on these, like, um, where, like how they're supposed to be rotated. So like it's supposed to be on this side. Um, let's see. There we go. Little little grill. We also have a little statue. I think I would want to place that like maybe right here. Like on this corner. I like that. And what else? I think I think that's good for now. Um, what is this? Yeah, I think that's good for now. 
and um, you know that's the start to our little park so really really cute I I love I love the city parks I think there's they're just adorable um, there are also some, some other things there as well let me let me go back and we can look at the uh, park policies so let's let's come up with a name I just kind of like to go with like the name of the street that it's on um, so we're gonna name this Peter's how about Peter Sin Garden or Peter Street Gardens Garden maybe garden like singular okay now um, when you open up the panel it will automatically charge people I just like to make them free because it's really rare that you go to a park that isn't free so <laughs> like a public park so I'm gonna say that it's free to and um, to come into the park but um, and usually that will bring in more visitors which is what we want so then opening up the policies um, we have some different ones this animal ethics one is only for the zoo because that's the only one that has animals um, we can do the advertisement campaign which helps attract more people main park i'm going to do this one because this is the only park that we have so far we also have celebrate night tours that helps attract visitors at night um, recycle garbage that's really for the nature reserves um, and then the even more fun is for the amusement parks so we don't have um, I'm not ha I don't have the um, the day night option on so I don't really think I need anything other than this main park one so yeah so you know just a nice little start to our park and let's speed up the time here now in the last episode I said I wanted to build a high school which I definitely do we are long overdue for that so I am going to place the high school I think I'll place it right here I think that, that'll be a good spot and what's the name of our elementary school I guess we didn't name it We'll just say Brookhaven High School and Brookhaven Elementary School. Okay, now the, um, uh, I feel like I've said this before in the, in the previous episodes, but um, the schools are really important to, um, if you want to attract uh, better jobs and higher land value higher which that, that attracts um, more educated wealthier people to your city and then usually what that means is that will upgrade uh, that will help upgrade your um, your commercial zones and industrial zones you can already see some buildings are leveling up so they're getting getting taller um, and that is just from placing this high school here and I, the park the park might help but i feel like it's so far away that may not even be a factor um just for the fun of it we can look at the land value here so you know everything's pretty much the same but we do have a little bit of something over here and that's probably due to this park here and uh the elementary school over here so uh, just just some things to keep in mind so you can see here our customers our customers our commercial is asking for more educated workers so um, so that is really good um, that's a good problem to have because we can uh, educate we need to educate more people so our elementary school is at capacity we have a couple of things that we can do we can place down another elementary school um, or we can go into our budget panel and we can allocate oh that's the medical <laughs> we can go down to the education menu and then we can allocate just a couple more dollars for our education and then let's see what that gets us 
Okay, so that increased our student capacity to 357. I think we're going to need a little bit more. So let's go back and let's bump it up to 140. Okay, 372. I'm okay with that. And then this one is at 1240. So that that seems good to me. And um, let's go and start developing um, this this uh, road layout. Okay, so our industry has leveled up. So let's go and look to see what we've got. So I'm just going back to my farming industry menu. And I think, yeah, okay. So we, we got a, f a flour mill. So that will need animal products. And then um, that will produce uh, flour for us. And then a cattle shed. Um, I think that's the same thing where it will need to let's see. I think that needs animal products as well. I don't know. We'd have to have to look at it. But these buildings are pretty expensive. Um, and. I just don't want to uh, place them down just yet because we only have 16,000 right now. Let's see how our warehouse is doing. Yeah, I mean, our warehouse is totally fine. We probably could place some more crop fields. I think that might be good for us. So let me go back. Oh, what is this? Oh, farm workers barracks. That increases worker efficiency in the area. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe we could place that down at some point. Um, okay, so let's let's place down another fruit field and we'll place down another crop field. And I'm just I like to have things look similar, so I'm going to make this look look like how I had it. Okay. So I'm just looking at the capacity that our animal products will need. So they're complaining about not having enough crops. So we can... Um, maybe, maybe, maybe we place two more of those those crop fields let's do one more let's see what is how much are these okay four thousand okay okay we need some more water All right, so I'm just placing a couple of more in industry zones um, since our our um, our town is asking for that. <laughs> we need to keep these people employed for so we can have more tax tax revenue. So um, I'm doing that there. Let's take a look at our landfill. So our landfill is 80% full. We need to place another one down because that is quickly filling up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna place one right here. That does decrease 
some happiness in our industry, but not enough for me to be worried about it. <laughs> okay, so since we've placed the, those industry zones down, um, I think that has helped gain some more profit. All right, so let's go back over to our residential zones and let's play some more some more zones <laughs> as I'm placing this down um, I think let's see yeah let's place um, a couple of other parks in here um, I think I'm really fond of this small park because it's it's really cheap and um, you know it has has a pretty large impact I think maybe I'm trying to place it like in the middle of, of a block let's go with that Okay, so I think I'm going to um, end Brookhaven, our neighborhood of Brookhaven, uh, here. And back here, we can have another, another new um, area. I don't know what that area would be, but... <laughs> I like, I really like having uh, a park that's sort of central. <clears throat> to to our town now we haven't been able to get into buses or any other form of public transit yet I think that will be something that we'll have to do eventually but right now we just don't have the money for it um, I don't think it's necessarily crucial right now our our I think our city is doing pretty good so far um, with as far as traffic is going but um, but yeah but that will definitely be something that we will need to do uh, soon So over here, we really uh, need a fire station because we don't have one yet. Um, so I think I want to place one. Uh, let's see, maybe, maybe just off this little, little road here, right here. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Okay, so we are getting some more crops for our animal pasture, and how is this doing? I think that's doing pretty good. Now these two buildings here, um, they are they are in the healthcare um, menu. This is elder care. It uh, extends the life of senior citizens in your city. And then we have child health care, which or child health center, and this increases the birth rate within the radius of the building. And it, I don't know, I guess it makes them healthier. I'm not sure if it necessarily makes them live longer, but you can see how large this, this radius, this uh, area of impact is. So that's, that's pretty nice. And same thing with the elderly building, elderly care building. Those two buildings are pretty expensive, I think. Um, so you can see how our commercial area here has leveled up. Um, some buildings have leveled up. And 
Yeah, so these taller buildings are, they are at level two and so you can see the benefit here is they attract wealthier customers and um, you know to keep attracting them we have to have you know more education more parks um, more more leisure for our citizens and in this area in particular that will that should help as well so I think I'm gonna add um, a little bit more in here and I think I want to add a little street well maybe not <laughs> I was gonna say a little street right here but that's okay we don't we don't have to but maybe maybe like this then we can get some buildings um, in the middle here so normally I don't like to place these kind of dead-end roads um, but I think sometimes you know if you in a situation like this where I want to fill up the space but I don't want to have another like add more intersections um, this is kind of a good alternative and on this road I want to place an asset so maybe actually that this actually might not be a bad idea to place right here and it's it's next to the medical center so that actually might be a good excuse me a good plan right there i like that um we have let's see we have some space here that we can play around with i'm not sure See the dog park. Place a dog park there. All right, since our landfill site has gotten full, we can we can start emptying it out. While it's being emptied, the this the the trucks from this landfill. Oh, okay, we've reached our miles our busy town milestone. Um, and that came with some new roads, a couple of new buildings. That's good. Um, but since our, if our landfill is emptying, the trucks will not pick up any more garbage. They will just empty it out first, um, which, you know, that makes sense. So they are traveling to this one all the way over here to dump, uh, some garbage in. So while that's happening, we can also put in a recycling center that will help us process some some more garbage and sort of help mitigate um oh maybe <laughs> if i put it on such a, a short street i will i think i'll place it um right here but um yeah but that will help us mitigate some of the garbage issues while this one is trying to empty empty it out and then they can also uh, process some of the garbage over here to the recycling center all right so it looks like we do need to upgrade our water so i'm adding another water pump And I think I'll try to use this eco water outlet. It does release pollution, but it's 
it's not as bad as <laughs> it's not as bad as this one but this came with the green cities dlc um that i think i think i'm gonna say <laughs> i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm thinking i'm gonna end the the uh, video here um but i think this is a really good start we've expanded our city a little bit our neighborhood over here we started our city park um which this i this should really start um getting more uh visitors once we get probably once we get more um people coming over this way we can develop some more some more buildings and everything this area is pretty open i'm not sure exactly what i want to do with it but i don't want it to be entirely commercial oh <laughs> as i do this our park is leveling up so let me just see oh let me add in more water for our people okay so um so let's just see what we got with this update we did get um, some piers, uh, but we don't have water. We're not connected to any water. You have to place these on a shoreline. Um, and so we don't have any water in this area, but we can place down a chessboard, which I definitely want to do. But you can see here how, you know, you have to be kind of careful placing down your assets because it could delete you know some of your paths so I'm placing it down right there and that will be it I think for now <laughs> so let me unpause again okay now I'm gonna say goodbye <laughs> um, but yeah so we've just continued with our um, neighborhood expanding our neighborhood expanding our industry uh, and then our farming industry over here leveled up. We've still got a ways to go with this. Um, but, but yeah, I think this is a really, really good start. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, let me know. Please leave a comment. I'm still looking for suggestions on a name. Um, but I do pre-record these videos. So if you have suggested a name and I haven't uh, said anything about it, <laughs> <laughs> it's because I've pre-recorded the video. But um but I thank you all so much for your for your support. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.